Hello people, I'm Video Minecraft. So it's week, month, whatever of uh, quarantine time. I've been sitting at home and that's it. And you know, I got to thinking, I'm very bored. I got nothing to do. Why not make some videos? Genius, I know. Now the thing about that is I had no idea to what make to, uh, I had no idea about what to make. God, I had no idea. <laughs> I knew what videos to make on pro gaming nights, and I'm in the middle of making those videos already. But I was thinking, hey Broski, hey Broski, hey Broski. What was I gonna do with hey Broski? It's just sitting there, doing nothing. I'm sitting here doing nothing. Idea. So my idea is, is to utilize the Hey Broski channel for something more. So the point is, is that I'm gonna start making videos on Hey Broski also. But I don't know what to make. I was thinking, y'all don't know me very well. My, what is it, 50 subscribers on this channel? don't know me very well, so it's time to get to know me. So I am going to be making videos on this channel bi-weekly. And when I mean that, I mean twice every week, not, not once every two weeks. I know, it's a lot of bull shrimp. And it's just gonna be my life, my daily life of making YouTube videos, or just doing something that I want to do that I feel like is entering into red, you know, it's been a while, man. Something that's interesting enough to make a video on. So that's what I'm doing. Now what is interesting enough in, that's happening right now that is in a, that it, I can make a So what is interesting enough that I can make a video on right now? But well, I don't The point is I have no idea But I'm gonna make something interesting happen. So if you're gonna get to know me You're gonna have to know the space that I live in the space that I spend majority of my day in and that would be this room. Now this room has been in many of my videos on Pro Gaming Nights. By that I mean like three. And that's a lot considering my upload schedule. I've never done like an official tour of it. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. For anybody who has seen a Pro Gaming Nights video, this is probably the part you know the best. Specifically, me. Me sitting in this chair. Well, there's a lot more to this room other than this, but I figured we'll, we'd start with this. This here is a shelf with all the knickknacks and such that I have collected over the years that I proudly display. One of my favorite things is the Szechuan sauce packet, but we'll get to that in a second. Every shelf has its own area and theme, and I try to stick with that general theme. We'll start up here, because this is the easiest. This is just a bunch of toys, mostly from my childhood, except for down here, but we'll get to that again. I got guns, I got boppets, I got Rubik's cubes, I got yo-yos, I got it all. Just stuff from my childhood, no big deal. Moving on down to the next shelf, we have soda, uh, what's it, pop, cola, yeah. This right here is a can of Pib, my favorite Pib Extra. 
otherwise known as Mr. Pib previously. Pretty good, I kept it because the cam broke and I didn't want to open it and I thought I needed some Pib on my shelf. The rest are just, the rest are just antique bottles of Coke and stuff. This is, I don't know, Mountain Dew bottles, stuff like that. Sprite Cranberry, Winter Spiced Cranberry, and yeah. Moving on to the left, we have the Back to the Future section. I'm a big fan of Back to the Future. And one of the things that is my favorite is this newspaper, which is a reproduction of the newspaper from the second movie before Marty changed everything and such. I like Back to the Future. I got a couple books back there, a couple of pop figures and Yahtzee. Moving down is basically the video game shelf. This is where I keep video game related items. We got everything from boxes for my SNES and NES classics. We got uh, plushies, Bowser Jr., Oreo, Sonic Mania, Collector's Edition. Mega! And then this legend, Sonic Mania cartridge. And now it's over there. We got Amiibos, my favorite ami Amiibo. Arnold from Hey Arnold, such a great amiibo, my favorite character in Smash. Okay. But yeah, uh, this is just where all the amiibos go. Mario lunchbox, box Mario thing. This is a Pikachu penny, you don't care. Video game related items. Now down here is an interesting story. Over here I have kind of like a theme park thing going on. I got a uh, bottle from Kennywood, football from Kennywood, and a snow globe from Cedar Point, and then another thing from Water Park. I'm a big fan of Kennywood, <laughs> as you can see. But yeah, the rest of this is more toys. This is my Buzz Lightyear shrine. The story about this is that my grandmother gave me all of my Buzz Lightyear toys from when I was a child, like a few months back. And instead of just keeping them in a box, I decided, Let's show them off. So, Buzz Lightyear Shrine. And then we also have other Disney-related things. Down here is where I keep my controllers and such. Not including Arnold. We have a keyboard. Uh, that's a G56. What? I don't know. I don't care. And then there's another keyboard in a box down there. And then the Wii U. Wii Fit board? Man, you want to go stop. In this metal thing, here, I keep all of my Xbox controllers, ranging from the original Xbox all the way to the Xbox One. And this is where my PlayStation controllers go. Right now, I just have these two, because I was using the PS4 controller. It's in the chairs over there earlier. And then we got GameCube controllers. I have a lot of those. Wii controllers and Switch controllers as well. And classic controllers, such as uh, N64 controllers, Genesis controllers, NES controllers, stuff like that. Moving from these shelves are shelves that aren't seen too often, and it's this. Up on the top, I have more Amiibos displayed on the little thing there. And then some DS things. We got this DS holder thing for the DS's. Those are... Got a 2DS, DSi, XL. That's a new Nintendo 2D... Oh my god, that's just... No. 3DS, DS Lite. Moving on. This is where I keep my Game Boy games, right there, and my DS games, along with my Game Boys. So I have a Game Boy Color and two Game Boy Advance SPs. And then my prized possession, other than Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge is Shark Tale. GBA. Isn't it great? I know it is. Oopsie daisy. Moving down, Wii games, Switch games, moving down again, GameCube games, moving down again, Genesis games, N64 games, NES games, and SNES games, and running alcohol to clean them. Moving all the way down. Xbox games, Xbox 360 games, and Xbox One games. Boom. Done. Easy. Uh. Here is what I like to call the retro TV stand. 
We got two, two NESs, because why not? I only have one plugged in, because you only need one plugged in, honestly. A little switcher for all the consoles. An old CRT TV, obviously. Sega Genesis, SNES, N64, you already knew that. Easy, easy peasy. Now, moving on. Oopsie daisy. Moving on to something a little bit more grand. We have a 65 inch plasma flat screen TV. It's not mine, it's my parents. But I'm, I'm, I get to use it right now, which is awesome. So this is for all my modern consoles. When I say modern, that's a little vague because I got a, an original Xbox down there, but yeah. On here, I have my Switch, my Wii U, GameCube, Wii, Xbox 360, another Xbox 360, Xbox One, original Xbox, PS4, uh, Sega Genesis Classic, SNES Classic, and NES Classic. <laughs> yeah. Here, something that I, it's pretty recent, is my movie collection. This whole shelf is dedicated to movies, such as the other one is dedicated to games. This one is for movies. I have the entire MCU right there, and then a bunch of other non-MCU Marvel movies. More Marvel movies right here, and also Marvel cartoons. And then here is my very small DC collection, which includes Lego Batman, the movie. What a necessity. Down here I have other movies that are not superhero related, such as Back to the Future, the entire Harry Potter movie, the Hunger Games, is it a trilogy? Four films now. I have started collecting Fast and Furious movies and other things. And then I got two box sets of Teenage, Nin Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Because who doesn't want that? Down here are just a bunch of cartoons and stuff. I have the Titanic on VHS. Ain't that cool? And here's some My Hero Academia manga. And the movie. I need to get the second movie. This right here is a crispy M&M, like the ones that used to hold M&M candy at the stores. I got it here for $50, and uh, I love them. I use them to hold cords, but it's okay. Speaking of crispy, pretzel M&Ms, which has crispy on it, which is great. Here is my very, very small PlayStation collection on this PlayStation themed shelf. It says PlayStation on it somewhere. Oh, my PlayStation themed shelf. I got two PS4 games, Back to the Future the game and the Spider-Man game. But I also got Spider-Man for the PS2. So there's some PS2 games, PS1 games, uh, rock band guitar and garage band guitar. Here's a monster can I picked up. It's just, I use it to hold stuff. I keep some snacks on top of it. This right here is a lollipop machine. I got it at a yard sale for 75 bucks. It still works. You just put in a quarter, turn it, you get a lollipop. I don't have any because I'm in a basement and it attracts ants. And yeah, on the wall I have three ride posters for Walt Disney World and their attractions. That is actually Disneyland and so is that. That one is Disney World because I prefer it. I've, I've only ever been to Orlando. Here's Spongebob, it's a pinata. Not very interesting. These, I just got a, a few days ago. They're hand-me-downs, they're in a room upstairs, but the room is being used for something else, so I got them. Much like the TV. But they uh, recline and stuff. Pretty, you know. I made that pillow. Coca-Cola. has a hole in it right now. Look at that. Kennywood sign. This is a big sign. There's my hand. A joke that I have is that I stole it off the mountain on the way to Kennywood, if you've ever been in that area. They have Kennywood signs on the mountains. But no, I did not take it off a mountain. Bought it at the park for $50. And finally, something that will make a lot of people upset <laughs> is my PC setup. 
I say PC despite the fact that that is obviously a laptop. And I have a 32 inch monitor that says my name in 2020. I did that at the beginning of the year. That was fun. I got a cool keyboard and then a fantastic mouse. This is the best mouse I've ever had. I've had this for years. It's just way too good. And this is a an Acer Nitro 5 laptop, gaming laptop. Uh, it's got a GeForce 1050 Ti graphics card, Intel, i5, RAM, or whatever it is. I don't know much about computers, I just know that this is a pretty decent laptop for $600. It runs all the games that I want it to, and I don't see any reason to buy an actual PC. So it's great. Coca-Cola. Now that is pretty much the basics of this room. There's not much to it. It's a very small room that I have used the space for very tightly. I try to do as much as I can with this room because you got to make the most out of the space that you have. I literally have no room for any more shelves or, you know, anything else. Everything in here, I can't add any more. It's taken as much as it could. I did have a pinball machine in here, a tiny little pinball machine, but I had to move it out to make way for the to make way for the chairs. It used to be over there. But yeah, that's it. If you only came here to see the game room tour, you can leave. I'm about to do some talking. So that's basically the gist of it. I plan to use this channel a lot. And I hope that I actually end up doing it and not just say it like I did last time on the video on this channel. But it will basically be a daily look into my life. See what I'm doing, find it interesting enough, I'll film it. Yep.